Um, today I wanted to go through what I ate yesterday because some of you guys were asking to see some, some videos like that. Um, I had posted that original Why I'm No Longer Vegan video on Sunday and today is Friday. So this week has been, you know, basically what I expected, a lot of criticism, a lot of support. Um, and so thank you all for, for both, honestly. Um, I, it was a difficult video to make, but I, I totally understand like the reactions from people and where everyone's coming from. And I even had very similar reactions when I was, um, especially when I first uh, adopted a plant-based diet and um, identified myself as vegan. I, I really did identify myself as a vegan. So some of these comments that are just, you know, like I was never vegan, I was just plant-based. Like I understand where you're coming from, but um, just personally, like I did identify myself as that. And you know, when you're leaving that kind of a movement, like I just, I don't know how to feel about people that say that I was never vegan because I don't personally feel that way, but um, everybody has a right to his or, her, his or her own opinion, so I'm totally okay with that. Um, so I went and I filmed everything that I ate yesterday. It was a pretty typical day. I will say that I tried a little extra hard to make sure I was hitting um, all the vitamins and minerals that I want to be hitting and eating just basically the, the foods that I've found to be really helpful. I kind of all, I put them all into one day of eating um, to hopefully give you guys some ideas if you're curious about what I've been eating and what's really been helping uh, my digestion and my skin. So those are, um, as I mentioned, my two main focuses. And uh, yeah, so I guess we'll start off with breakfast. That ended up being three mini chicken sausages that I found at the grocery store. I, I know my husband really likes that brand, so I, I bought them kind of for him. And we ended up making them and I had three of them just to try. So it's not something that I usually eat. I don't eat a lot of chicken because I don't think it's overly nutritious. And it's also something that's kind of hard to get uh, like good quality, you know, cause chickens are, you know, you can find pasture chickens, you can find chicken in the store that's labeled as organic, but I don't personally really know what that means as far as how they're raised and what they're fed. And so I typically don't really eat chicken, um, but I did that morning. So I had three little sausages and I also made my husband and I a banana and strawberry smoothie. So we each ended up having like probably two bananas and a couple strawberries. And so that was breakfast. Yeah, so the morning was pretty chill, you know, just hanging out and lunch came around and I made a salad with some spring mix and some salmon and cranberries, onion, and cucumber. And so I don't like having a lot of different vegetables in my salad. I like vegetables to be really simple. And I try, if I'm gonna eat fish throughout the day, it's almost always at lunch because I'm very particular about fish. Um, I grew up in the, uh, the middle of Canada with no ocean for hundreds, of, I don't know if it's hundreds of miles, but for many hours of driving would get you to an ocean. I only saw my first ocean like a couple years ago when I moved here to Maine. Um, and so I was not familiar with seafood at all. You know, I grew up eating a little bit of tuna and salmon and I haven't really <laughs> pushed myself to explore more seafood than that. Um, aside from like mahi-mahi I've had and a couple other different dishes. Um, but salmon is one that is so extremely healthy. It's got vitamin E, it's got omega-3 fats, vitamin D, uh, selenium, and a lot of B vitamins. And so I try to eat that pretty often. It's not my favorite tasting fish, but you know, I can do it. And especially um, with this honey mustard dressing that I make, it's really easy. All it is is mustard, honey, and balsamic vinaigrette. And so that was the dressing that I put on the salad for lunch, and it was pretty good. And, and then about an hour later, um, keep in mind, throughout all the day, I'm, I'm just drinking water and um, stuff like that. But 
midday, I decided to make something that I've been having um, like once a week, maybe a couple times a week, and that is a raw beef liver shot. And so um, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with liver, um, but it is extremely, extremely nutritious and so loaded with B12 and with copper, iron, um, all the B vitamins, even some amount of folate and just it's off the charts. It's our, the liver in our own body stores a lot of nutrients and so to consume that from an animal, from a cow, you are also getting a lot of nutrition from that. So um, I, I had been wanting to try liver for a while, but obviously it's not um, uh, touted as like a delicious food. A lot of people really don't like it and cannot eat it without like ugh, having a gag reflex. Um, and so I was prepared for that. And I had come across, um, I can't remember the blog or anything, but if you type in raw liver smoothie into Google, I'm sure you'll find this, this lady's blog. And she had um, a really great idea to put some frozen raw liver in a smoothie with a bunch of like bananas and yogurt and you know berries and stuff to mask the flavor of it and I was thinking like that's a really good idea but I feel like I'm still gonna taste the liver and I don't want to have like a whole big cup of smoothie to like work through with that taste and so I got the idea to make uh, a shot of it that I could just swig back and chase it with something else that has a much more pleasant taste and so I ended up finding some liver at um, a store we have here called Hannaford's in the freezer section and I tried it like a couple weeks ago for the first time and what we had in the fridge at the time was grape juice and I thought okay I guess I'll try it with grape juice and so I blended it up a very small amount of juice and um, about a one to two tablespoons of the liver and um, blended it up and you know I could kind of smell it um, but I wasn't like totally turned off and then I got a second cup of just straight grape juice as a chaser and I did it boom that's been my thing from since then my face is going all red because I'm holding my breath but it's really not that bad because all you taste is the grape juice. So I really find it to be the best way to get it. Um, I don't know if I would ever enjoy, you know, like the recipe of cooked liver and onions that a lot of people um, do enjoy. I don't know if I would ever try that just because this method is so simple. And so um, I filmed that yesterday just quickly. Um, if you guys would like a separate video on the benefits of liver I can definitely make that so just let me know down below and that was kind of like a mid-afternoon pick-me-up you know like I for, for so long I used to have to drink like coffee you know in the afternoon and I still do some days just if I if I want it um, but I've been thinking that I would like to start to to stop that habit and to I replace it with um, a beef liver shot um, a couple times a week. One thing that you guys should know about beef liver is that it, because it's so extremely high in many nutrients, um, you you don't have to take it very often. Um, and there is a slight concern of toxicity if you're cranking it, if you're cranking large amounts of liver every single day. Um, I, I got nowhere near the toxic level and I had um, I had the fish oil pills in the morning I forgot to mention that but that that will be in the footage from breakfast I had fish oil which has very high levels of vitamin A in it and with the liver also vi uh, vitamin A is very high so the two of them together still came nowhere near the toxic dose and so I'm not overly concerned but you know you don't need to have it more than once or twice a week in my opinion um, so that was that and then for uh, right before dinner um, I was thinking about mm, what do I want to make 
had some bison in the fridge. That sounds good. So I was thinking I would make some bison meatloaf, you know, just kind of mix it with some onions and seasonings, bake it in a glass dish in the oven. Um, but it was just so hot yesterday <laughs> and our place um, doesn't have an air conditioner. Um, and so I just was like, I can't turn on the oven. Like it's way too hot in here for that. So I decided to use the bison and make it into burgers just cooked on a pan on the stove. So that's what I did. And while I was preparing that, I had some macadamia nuts that my husband bought and I had never had them before, which is so weird, but yeah, I've never had them. Um, and generally speaking, I have been avoiding uh, nuts and even seeds lately because I have a suspicion that a lot of those were causing me um, skin issues. They weren't affecting my digestion so much, um, but I would get, I would, I just had so much acne, so many pimples coming in, and I got reading about uh, omega-6 fats in a lot of plant-based foods um, that can trigger acne in some people. And so I don't know if, I don't know for sure if that's the cause of it, but I have noticed that I'm not getting any new pimples now. And um, macadamia nuts and coconut are one of the few plant-based foods that are rich in saturated fats and very low in omega-3 fats. They also have a lot of monounsaturated fats. And so in that way, they have a similar fatty acid profile to meat, to fish and stuff like that. So um, I, I was curious and I woke up this morning, fine, no new pimples. We'll see tomorrow, you know. Um, but yeah, they were pretty tasty. I had about a quarter cup of them right before dinner. Then I made up the burgers. I ended up having two of them, which was about six ounces of bison. And I had that with some steamed vegetables, cauliflower, carrots, and broccoli. And then I sprinkled some salts on the vegetables and some nutritional yeast and for like a cheesy flavor is really good. And that was dinner. And that was the last thing I ate yesterday. I wanted to show you a couple screenshots of chronometer. So as you can see, um, I've hit the majority of my nutritional targets and there we go. And the only thing that I have a concern for at this point, um, and I was wondering if maybe any of you guys had any input for me, um, is calcium. And so the daily recommended amount of calcium for um, women my age is around a thousand milligrams. And I've just never really been able to get that much. And so a couple years ago, upon the advice of um, Dr. John McDougall, the author of Starch Solution, he's like a plant-based doctor, pretty famous in the movement. Um, he was just, he had written an article and he said, you know, the calcium recommendations are way off. Um, people really don't need that much. It's just like, it's just for the milk and dairy propaganda that they want you having like lots of dairy products. And that's why the calcium recommendations are so high. And so years ago, I had even reduced my calcium um, maximum value, uh, target value down to 500, but I still struggled to meet it unless I was eating tofu. Um, and you know, you can get it eating a lot of vegetables, a lot of greens, broccoli, um, even oranges, um, spinach, stuff like that. But at this time, I can't eat a lot of those foods. You know, I'm really trying to back down um, on my fiber intake and still have vegetables, obviously, but I can't handle a lot right now. So um, I've, I'm wondering if any of you have suggestions um, on how to up my calcium. Um, I may just end up taking a supplement, perhaps, um, because I'm not sure if I want to try to reintroduce dairy. I don't know if I'll ever make a place for that in my diet. Um, we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm open to suggestions on that. And yeah, so that's basically it. It's, uh, it looks like it's been about 21 minutes, so that's pretty long for a what I eat in a day video. So I'm going to cut it off there. If any of you guys have questions, please write them down below. And 
Um, for those of you guys that requested that I make a video like this, you can let me know um, if there's anything that you'd like me to cover um, in other videos I make of this nature, what you'd like to see, uh, the format and whatnot. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, thanks again for all the support, all the very kind, compassionate comments. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, well, have a good day. See you guys soon.